Hi, welcome, Simon here. In this video, I just like to talk about this brand new HP desktop. What are the things that you can upgrade? If something is wrong with it, what are the things that you can do with it? So just kind of talk it out about this brand new HP desktop. Let me go ahead and identify the model for you. If you turn it around at the back, the bottom of the computer, uh, you should be able to see that it says model TE01 5354. Alright. So I'm going to lay it down on the side. The front is facing the right side of it. And here's the bottom of the computer. I'll be using a flathead screwdriver. Kind of unscrew, slide the side panel to the left, and you get to see the internal part of the desktop. At this point here, I just quick identify this is the uh, CPU heatsink, that is a CPU fan. You have one RAM, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, there's only one RAM installed, and the hard drive is running off of the uh, M.2 SSD drive. So let's go ahead and get more details into the computer. Need to go ahead and remove this screw here. Once the screw is removed, remove that cover. Let's work on this, remove some of the cables. I am going to remove the front panel. The three clipper here, just kind of lift it up and the front panel would just come right off. There is a screw here in the front Remove that screw. And you can remove that another bracket. So here it gives you a little bit more details in terms of the internal part of the desktop. I laid it this direction. Uh, this is the M.2 SSD drive. This is the, uh, the M key M.2. And by default, it's a one terabyte. If you're running out of space, you can upgrade to two terabyte or whatnot. Um, if you're looking for a device to clone it, you probably might want to get one of this um, USB adapter where you can plug it in. Get a different cloning software and then just clone off the hard drive to a larger hard drive. Okay, so let's install the M.2 back, slide it in at 45 degree angle, push it down, and tighten it up. The next part is the RAM. There are two slots. The first slot is already being used. It looks like that is a 8 gigabytes. You can add additional 8 so there would be 16 in total you can go up to 64 i believe 32 and 32 that runs on a ddr4 this cable right here allows you to add additional secondary drive which is the uh, sera drive the mounting would be i would think it's going to be internal right here the bracket would be the mounting hard drive on this part of it if you install the hard drive and this is the given set of cable where you need to connect to the hard drive. Something like this. Install. 
install and find a screw to mount it to the to the case of the desktop okay and that's pretty much it as you can see that the power supply does not comes with extra PCIe power that means the power supply does not have enough power to power up any of the uh, powerful graphics card it just comes with the uh, PCIe slot where you can install you know graphics card on it that but that has to be the low profile graphics card meaning that the graphics card does not need to have power on it okay if, if it needs a six pin power or eight pin connector the power supply does not have extra power to power that up hope this video is helpful thanks for watching until next time bye now